the thing that has happened over the last century that uh, we, I've read about more and more lately is this idea that we have been producing in youth ministry and in churches moral therapeutic deists. Okay? Moral therapeutic deists. First of all, what is a deist? A deist is somebody that might believe that God is out there, but God has started the clock of time and he's left us alone to do whatever we want. He started it and now he's given us the ability to do it. He's not going to have any effect on us. He's not going to come into time and history and make things happen. It's just going to be, it's, yeah, we're, we're on our own. Also, uh, the moral, it's all about being a good person. How often does that happen in churches? It's all about just having morals. Which morals are good? It's a part of our faith. But yet it comes out of our relationship with Jesus and about our union with him because we have been raised with him. And because we're already there and because we're already holy and dearly loved and chosen, as Colossians 3 says, because of that, now go and do these things. Not go and do these things so you can be holy, chosen, and dearly loved. You already are. Now act the position that you already have with compassion and patience and humility. So uh, the next part is, is the therapeutic. This is the idea. It, it's the, motion, the movement of psychology that has come into our society. About, it's not now about knowing things. It's about feeling. It's not, what do you think about this? It's, how do you feel about it? The movement of psychology, and I'm a psychology major, so I understand this pretty well, about how easily it is to start making it about our feelings. Okay? And not about what we are, how we're being transformed, our minds being renewed, so that our feelings will fall in line with the will of God. Okay? And so we've produced these moral therapeutic deists where God doesn't even have to do anything with us. Christian Smith, who came up with this, defined this as expressing, defined moralistic therapeutic deism as expressing this sort of working theology. This is what they believe. One, God created the world. Two, God wants people to be good, nice, and fair to each other, as taught in the Bible in most world religions. Three, the uh, central goal of life is to be happy and to feel good about oneself, the therapeutic part. Four, God does not need to be particularly involved in one's life except when needed to resolve a problem. And five, good people go to heaven when they die. How many people in your church might fall into that category? Okay. That's not biblical Christianity. It sounds really good, doesn't it? We have to change this with our youth ministries and our churches and our children's ministry the whole bit. 